yeah hello guys you're highly welcome to another amazing tutorial on Nobuti fashion channel on this video i'll be taking you through the process of how you can stitch uh, this uh, latest uh, senator placket so make sure you watch the video to the end so that you don't miss any part of the video and if this is the first time you are checking on this channel you are highly welcome to Nobuti fashion channel this is the channel that brings you the easiest fastest and the simplest method on how to draft cut or sew anything on a men's dress so without any further delay let's get started so the first thing you have to do is to get the material in which you are used for the plaquette so these are the three materials that i'm using first which is for the main bodies so you cut out these three materials from the main material you are using for the bodies so the first material the wideness is a two three inches that's the wideness of this a first material why the length is a say, for 16 inches rather why the length is a 16 inches so the length of this one is also 16 inches why the wideness is a five inches the length of the third one is also 16 inches why the wideness is a two inches so the wideness of this one is a two inches so that those are the three materials you need us for this uh, for this and i'll be cutting other materials uh, later so this is the color stay so this is the color stay the side can, this uh, color stay now is a foreign color stay so it doesn't tear with a bare hand so this the wideness of this uh, color stay that i'm using for this is a 1.7 so it's a 1.7 so you call the wideness of the color stay to 1.7 and the length is a 14.2 or you make it a uh, 14 inches depend on how long you want the plaquette to be so this last material which is a uh, two inches so that is the one that we apply this a uh, color stay on so and then make sure that uh, you leave a little space at the top and a little space at the down part of this uh, material that is the color stay will not occupy the whole area of the material so you apply it and make sure that it's at there to the material very well so whatever the excess you have by the side you cut the excess you have by the side you trim it out so please if you are a new member or if you are just tuning into this channel make sure you click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you'll be enjoying this video whenever i drop an amazing video like this again i have a lot of a senator plaquettes which i believe it will be of a app so once you click on the subscribe button you'll be able to enjoy all these uh, videos so these other materials now i'll be using that uh, later on but this is the material that i'm using for the shape by the side of this uh, plaquette so i've cut it and i'm making use of the side that uh, have a pattern so whatever the material you want to use just cut it to like a uh, three inches that is the wideness and then you fold it and then you iron it out like this so you fold it and you iron it out so i'm using the uh, two materials for this so this is the first one why the wideness of this after i fold it is a 1.5 is a 1.5 so the length doesn't uh, matter for now so this is the second one that i'm using you fold it again like this and then you iron it out make sure that uh, you iron it very well so that the material will be able to relax properly properly well and it's not give you tough, tough time while we are doing a final folding of the material so you fold it like this and then you fold the second one on it that is let me show you again you fold it like this that's the first side and then you fold the second side on it so the folding now you should make sure that's not longer than the length of this uh, material so you just place it like that and then you trim it out you cut it you cut it once you have like a 10 that is a that is okay once you have like a 10 pieces that is a okay so that is why you need to cut a long material so that you'll be able to have uh, the have enough material you use for these uh, for these uh, pieces we are we are making so now you can now fold all the material so make sure that you are using the side that you want to show for the pattern so make sure that that the side that it is showing it outside so you make sure you press it very well and then the triangle fall form very very well so you fold all this 
and once you have like a 10 it's that is a that is a okay so please make sure you give uh, this video a thumbs up make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that a lot of people will be able to benefit from it so that uh, youtube will be able to show this video to a lot of people as well and they too will be able to benefit from from it so once you do the ironing of the old material you have then you take the material which we gum the color stay on the material we cut the color stay on and then you mark a 0 0.3 on both side so you, now this one you are marking you are marking it on the face of the material you are marking it on the right face of the material but you just need to chalk it john needs to mark it not don't make it show very well so you are just so this will be the guide where the where the triangle we fall on so if you want to use this side you can go ahead and use it and if you want to use the side that open here you can go ahead and use it as well so but on this i'm using the side that uh, show outside like this the way the folding show outside that is the side that i'm using so i'm just using this as a sample of how the thing will, will form you can see the sh the shape that i'm having at the middle so that is how the thing will form or true that is how the things will fall or true so make sure when you are setting it you set it very well and then you make sure that the line is rhyme and the match so let's go to the table to the machine now and do the stitches so now here we are so this is the right face of the material it's because the material that i'm using is white so that is why you can't dis differentiate the material from the color stay but this place now is the right face of the material so make sure you place it like this and then the triangle now we end on the 0 0.3 in which we mark before we end on the 0 0.3 in which we already mark so you just stitch it like this once it sets the first one, make sure you leave a little space at the upper part before you start the stitches. Make sure you leave a little space at the upper part before you start the stitches. Just place it like this. So this one you are placing at the right side is just for you to set the shape. So use this one that I'm having now, I'm having like a 0.3. So that is it, 0.3. So that is where the triangle we end that is where the triangle we end so you just need to place this uh, one by the right for you to get the shape so you just stitch it all through i'm only stitching the one by the left but i'm placing this one by the right so that i'll be able to get the shape it perfectly perfectly well before i did do the final stitches of the right side as well so make sure you take your time to do this don't rush take your time to do this so you stitch it gently and then you are p placing the one by the right to form the shape also so that is very important so that you have a perfect uh, shape at the at the middle so that you have a perfect shape at the middle so you take your time to do this and don't rush take your time to do this so and it's worth it it's worth it so make sure you are rule you are checking the wideness that is where the triangle is a uh, is ending so that you soon be more than uh, that 0 0.3 in which you need to leave by this side so when you are placing the one at the other side now it will be very easy to to do because you have already or form the form the shape you have formed the shape already so you just place it like this and then you do what you stitch it at the at the tip you stitch it at the tip so you place the other one again also and then once you are placing it like that make sure you are checking the shape at the middle make sure you are considering the shape at the center and then you make sure that it's rhyme and it's forming perfectly perfectly well so you place the, the other one again you place the other one again and then you stitch it so make sure please make sure you take your time to do this it can be a little bit time consuming but the result at the end 
it's it's worth it so please make sure you watch the video to the end so that you don't miss any part of it and at the end of the video i'll be giving you a link on where you can have access to over 10 uh, senator plaquettes in which you can you can learn from so make sure you watch the video to the end so that you'll be able to get uh, that link to the to the video so once you stitch it like this or through then you remove it from the machine and then you do what you trim the excess so you can see what i have here now i'm almost through so that is it so you just trim all the excess you turn it to the other side and then you trim all the excess you have at the edge you trim it off and you do the same thing on the other side as well and voila that is it so what you have to do now is to tack the middle so that you tack the middle at the center of this uh, triangle which we folded that is the place which you have to stitch so you turn it to the other side and then you stitch the middle as well you reinforce it you turn it to the other side you stitch the middle you tack it and you reinforce it turn it to the other side so make sure you do this all through on this uh, on this uh, triangle on this uh, pattern in which we we have make sure you do this all through Once you get to this last one, then you cut it and then you knit all the thread. You knit all the thread. Once you knit all the thread, then you do what? You take the other materials which we cut before. That is the first five inches and the three inches which we cut already. So now, before you stitch that, you mark the back of this uh, material. You mark a 0 0.3 on uh, both sides mark 0 0.3 here 0 0.3 0 0.3 here as well so make sure it's not up to half i'm using 0 0.3 all through so you mark 0 0.3 and then you place ruler on it and then you rule it straight so this is the back of the material now this is the, i'm marking it on this uh, color stain now so you rule it straight down you do the same thing on the other side as well you roll it straight down once you do this the next thing you have to do is to place it on the material that is the main material we are using for the bodies so the first one you have to do is to take the five material with the five inches to place the face down like this but you are starting from the upper part of these uh, plaquettes not for this is the upper part now we are starting from the upper part so that is very important so that you not use the wrong do we want that should be by the right on the left side so that is it so you start from the upper part and then you stitch the biggest size first which is the five inches once you do that you do the same thing on the other side which is the if the, the face of the material that is the one where you should place it place down and then you stitch it all through you stitch it on the 0 0.3 which we mark make sure that the stitches is very straight so that your work will be very neat as well so you stitch it all through like this and that is all so if you want to iron it you can go ahead and uh, do the ironing but i'm not a uh, doing the ironing i will just stop stitch it straight away so i will just stop stitch it uh, straight away so that I won't be taking much of your time so now once you do that you open it and then you do the top stitching so this top stitching is very very vital so if you know that your stitches is your hand is not that very straight don't rush make sure you take your time to stitch it and then you do what you use the iron to open it so that it will be able to relax very well if you know that you can't do it as i'm doing it right now so you first i use iron to open it and then before you do the stitches and make sure that the stitches fall by the tip of this uh, material so that your work will come out very neat and then clean so once you do this then the next thing to do now is to proceed to the table and that is it 
So once you get to the table for ironing, then you first iron it on the face so that you get a perfect uh, shape and all the stitches will be able to relax properly well. You can see the shape already that we are almost achieving the, the results. We are almost achieving the results. So please, if you are yet to click on the subscribe button, please let me click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. You can as well drop a comment for me and then please I'll be glad to, to see that. So that a lot of people will be able to benefit from this video as well. And then you are also helping other by clicking the like uh, button. And make sure you watch to the end so that you can have the link to other plaquettes that I, that I promise. So now once you do this, you just fold the small side first and then you trim it off like this. Once you do the trimming like this, then you cut, take hemming gum, you cut it like this, and then you split the hemming gum into two. Once you split the hemming gum into two, then you place the first one inside it like this, and then you press it so that the tip of this uh, material will be able to lay very firm on this uh, on this uh, collar stay. Make sure that uh, when you are doing the folding, make sure that it is very firm to the material so that you come out with a nice uh, straight edge. You can see that. So you fold this side as well and then you do the ironing and make sure that it's very firm to this uh, edge also. So once you do the ironing, then you turn it to the other side. So you first fold the edge, that is the upper part of this uh, plaquette that is you are folding it if you are you cut one inch out from here you cut it like this and then the distance between the plaquette and this uh, one that i'm cutting is just a uh, one inch you can trim the all this uh, rough edge out once you trim it out then you do the folding make it rhyme with the color stay that is why i told you that not to make the color stay get to the upper part of this uh, material so that you leave a little space so that when you are folding is you are not folding the collar stay with this uh, upper part uh, folding so you insert the uh, second hemming gum into the material and then you iron it very well and then make sure that it's adhered to the material make sure that it's adhered to the material when you use the cooler to cool it down and then you turn it like this once you turn it like this then the first one inch which we've cut out then you fold it on it again and then you press it very well once you press it very well and it relax then you insert it back to the material so if i've been a part of a nobody fashion family before i believe uh, preparing this type of a uh, senator plaquette at this level shouldn't be a problem any longer and I'm sure you are now achieving the better and the best results with your senator plaquette with the latest method that I dropped before on how to prepare a senator plaquette without having a squeeze by the side. So you measure 8 inches. This 8 inches now is the one, is that is the inches we are using for the opening of this uh, senator plaquette. So please, if you haven't watched uh, my video on how to so a senator plaquette without having squeezing by the side so make sure you watch this video to the end so that you be able to get a link to that video i believe if you are part of a noble fashion family before you will have seen that uh, video so that is it and that is all so the next thing to do now is to fix it to the material but i won't do that in that this video you have the link to that video at the end of this uh, video this is the result of what we have been doing you can see the results and how perfect it is so please let me give this video a thumbs up drop your comments for me let me click the like button click uh, let me drop the click on the subscribe button as well so that i'll be able to benefit from the awesome video that i normally upload on this uh, channel so thank you for watching till the next time that i'll be giving you another amazing tutorial like this again i say thank you and then remain blessed bye for now